this is the prize that's going to be given to someone who buys the corporate citizen playbook or the YouTube course. I will let you know who wins this the 1st of July. So let's just talk about how you can get into the course. The corporate citizen playbook, power book, you can do a one and done or you can get on the payment plan. How to make a lot of money from a small YouTube channel. You can do a one and done and get on the payment plan. I'm about to explain to you why you want the corporate citizen playbook power book. Number one, you will get the YouTube course as well and you will get any and everything else that I create in the year 2023. So if I write a book, I create any more courses, which I guarantee you there's more coming, you will get all of that. And also the way that this is set up, the corporate citizen playbook power book is set up to teach you how to build a holding company, how to have operating companies, how to set up your corporate banking, how to set up your first operating company, and how to start getting on the path of business credit. Now, one of the things is, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, are you gonna take these courses and next month you're gonna be making 20, $30,000 per month? No, it's not gonna happen. But let's go a little further ahead and let's say this time next year, you get in, you're gonna learn so much that you could be one of the people making twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month. I will have people who will do that. And then some people it'll take a little longer, but I want you to start thinking in the greater scheme of your life. I want you to start thinking about not just today, but tomorrow and the year after and the year after and the year after, because I have a very important video that's coming up after this commercial that's going to be getting into the deepness of building businesses, making money, and you want to be part of it. So once again, the YouTube channel, you can do the one payment or you can do the payment plan, the corporate citizen uh, playbook power book. You can do the one and done and the payment plan. And this is how you can get in and the access to these courses will be in the description box and in the first comment. And once again, you need to go ahead and get in because the sooner that you start, it's the sooner that you'll start realizing your dreams and ambitions. So that's all I got for you. So let's roll into this next wonderful video. Okay, today's AM Hustle, we're gonna talk about how weak people are. I was um, reading this newscast, talking about this FedEx driver who said he had bad equipment and he got FedEx sent him purportedly another bad truck and he had to unload the truck and he had, to, and you know, years ago I used to work for FedEx. Let me tell you what happened. I was in the warehouse and then someone comes and is like, hey, we need your help. So I get into this tr FedEx truck with a guy. FedEx truck is empty. So me and the guy go rescue this other driver. And what happens is the guy gives this other guy the FedEx truck and all three of us, all three of us load the new truck and me and the driver stayed there and waited for the tow truck. And that's how it went down. And apparently either FedEx has changed its rules. I don't know. It's been many, many years since I worked there. But the thing that got me was before TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube came on the scene. I wonder what would have happened 15 years ago. I guarantee, let me tell you what would have happened 15 years ago. He would have, he would have kept his job. But there's so much outrage because people are weak. And I'm gonna say something. Uh, when I worked at FedEx, it was the summer. I lost 20 pounds because there's no air conditioning. You're working in the warehouse. You, the minute you clock in and you walk on the row where you're supposed to be working, the minute that you're there, unless you go to the bathroom, you are consistently working the whole time that you're there. And a lot of people quit. A lot of people was like, deuces, I'm out of here, right? And I needed a job, I needed some income, so I stayed and I just went ahead and dealt with it. And you know what happened after that first month, which was hell, first month was hell. I got used to it. 
it didn't phase me. I would walk in there and this is one of the things that the older guys who have been there for a while, they really don't talk to you unless you've been there a month because they see so many people come in and like get blown out the door because of the work. And about my fourth month there, I had a lot of friends. I, I knew guys who have been there six, seven, eight years in that warehouse, right? And here's the thing that's going to stop so many people from being successful in business. This attitude, this whole thing of being weak. Like one of the issues that like in business, I consistently am solving problems. It is a consistent thing. Every time I turn around, something will happen. I'll have to work on it. I'll have to man up. I'll have to do the things I need to do to get this problem solved. And one of the things I see with on YouTube is the advertisement of easy, simple businesses. Right now, this is something that's starting to happen. Um, ChatGPT came out last November and a lot of people got on the artificial intelligence bandwagon, talking about ChatGPT, talking about Midjourney, talking about uh, Leonardo, talking about um, Dolly, talking about all of these wonderful artificially intelligent based platforms. And now I'm seeing a bunch of videos. You know, my uh, Etsy store is crashing and burning. I'm not selling any art. So what happened is because people are weak and I'm going to explain that. So many people went to Etsy. So many people use mid journey. So many people went for these easy money generating side hustles, right? A lot of people went for this stuff and all of these platforms are crowded and they're not as crowded as they're going to get. This is just the beginning. They're going to get even more crowded because everyone is looking for that easy, simple thing that they can do. And here's the thing. I got a question for you and please answer this question in the comments. Would you pay someone to do your search on Google? Would you pay someone to um, do something that you could do quite easily? Would you pay someone to do that? The answer is obviously no, you will not pay someone to do something that you can do easy. Question, question, question. Why do you think something that is easy, simple, everyone can do it, it's going to make you a lot of money if you're thinking like that because there are many of you who are not thinking like that there are many of you who are just like dang on the work glendon and you're absolutely right because let's get to the concept of weak as a society with the enhancement of technology the enhancement of um certain things and i'll talk about one specific instance in a minute many people have become extremely weak. Many people just don't know how to the soldier through some stuff, how to level up through the process. Let's take dating. When I was a kid, if you wanted a girl's attention and phone number, guess what you had to do? You actually had to step to her, talk to her and ask her for a phone number because there was no technological shortcuts and dips inside. You actually had to show up. And what we have in today's society is a lot of people who refuse to show up. We have a lot of people who are incapable of showing up. We have a lot of people who just do not want to do the work, build themselves up. And this is dating. This is a, a pretty normal parts of growing up. This is, this is pretty normal. And right now, the average man isn't having sex. The average man isn't having sex because they found dealing with women to be so inhospitable that they can't seem to merge these bridges. They just can't seem to do it. And I want you to think, I want you to really, really think about this. You don't want to talk to women. You don't want to pick up the phone and talk to customers. You don't want to do anything hard. What do you think your life is going to look like? Really, what do you think your life is going to look like? You keep running away from responsibility because right now you have seen me deal with a lot of issues here on the internet. You've seen me deal with a lot of issues and do I whine? 
No. Do I moan and complain? No, I just put my head down and go back to work because I know that moaning and complaining and saying this stuff will feel good for about that, that much of time. But I know that long work will be my hands are out the frame because that's how much benefit that the work will get you. That's how much benefit that you will have when you go ahead and do the hard work and when you build yourself up. Because this is one of the reasons, and I, I get this, and this is, you know, once again, shout out to the nerd tribe, shout out to the gang, because you guys are still with me. And a lot of people are leaving because I'll, I'll see this. Hey, Glendon, everybody ain't trying to get rich. This is why you should live a humble life. And I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very critical. I do not want to live a loser life, AKA humble life. I do not want to live a life where I'm just taking what is handed to me and to take, you know, I'll tell you a story. And th this is a real good story. Years and years ago, I was in this bar and there was this attractive woman sitting at the edge of the bar and I just go over and introduce myself and she puts her hand up and she says, I'm not interested. And you know what I did? I bought her a drink and I said, you have a nice day. And then what I did is I went ahead and this woman who rejected me, saw me hit on another woman, a woman, get her number. And I was getting ready to leave the bar because you know, my goal was to hook up with some, you know, meet someone. And then I get, I feel this finger on my shoulder, turn around, it's the woman who turned me down. And she's like, for some reason, I'm extremely turned on. I was like, why do you say that? It's like, I rejected you. You didn't act crazy. You didn't cuss me out. You bought a drink and you went on your way and you went out and you met another woman. And she said, I found that so attractive. And we went home and I had sex with this woman who originally turned me down. Now, I, I will tell you that this is not the only time that I have been rejected and I have ignored the rejection and kept doing my thing. Because if a woman turns you down, she's actually doing you a favor. She's like, hey, don't waste your time here. Okay, fine, have a nice day. And you move on with your life. But because men are so weak, they will stalk these women and commit bodily harm to these women because they're weak. And then you get around to starting a business, putting together a business, and doing the things that you need to do to be considered manly and masculine. One of the most masculine things that you can do as a man is to start a business. It's one of the most masculine things you can do. Because the thing is, you'll have to be a leader, you'll have to be a protector, you'll have to be a trainer, you'll have to be a provider. And because so many people are so weak, they don't want no parts of that. Because here's the thing, am I the person that I was 25 years ago? Absolutely not. I am much stronger, bolder, deafer. You know how I got that? Because I did not run away from responsibility. I did not run away from hard challenges. Like right now, I have a situation that I've got someone working on and we will see how this thing pans itself out. We will see. And there's more and more things that are coming. But if you want to be a winner, if you want to ride in the winner's boat, you cannot be a weak person. You cannot be a weak person because if you're a weak person, this is something that's going to embed itself in your personality, in your results, in the way that you are. Because a lot of people are really, really weak. And this is one of the reasons that I have stopped showing receipts because I had people who became downright hateful because I'm an average looking guy that was showing off some amazing results. And a lot of these people, they didn't wanna deal with that because I was showing them what was possible, showing them what is a possible for a man who's not afraid to be masculine, not afraid to be dominant, not afraid to literally do certain things. And one of the things that happens with men, and that's the majority of people watching this channel. I do have some women, but the majority of people watching this channel are men. 
So once again, you want to be able, you want to be strong, you want to be diligent. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.